Alright, so now that we've got the uh, basic shape designed, we can go about and put together the uh, little wings on the side. So we're going to create a construction plane in the middle of the design. Uh, this will help us to locate the part on the uh, on the inside edge of the design. Now, uh, again, I'm not taking into account a lot of the rules here. I'm just showing you what the uh, what the basic process is. Okay, great. So let's start by creating a spline by uh, a new sketch. And this spline is going to be the front wing. So I'm actually going to create a dual foil wing. Uh, again, this is entirely up to you and how you want to, to manage um, you know, your specific design. Uh, so yeah, just you know you can get as creative as you want, I suppose, as long as it fits within the rules. So I'm just going to adjust these shapes and sizes here, and then we're going to go about creating the second spline. Right, so let's grab the spline tool again, and we're going to create the second one. Um, now remember that you'll have done a, a range of you know research and experiments and other things that fit into understanding uh, why would we des design these shapes this particular way. Maybe you want a particular uh, you know, style or shape for a particular reason. Maybe you want downforce. Maybe you want a little bit of lift. Uh, you know, lift on the front end is probably something that you don't want. You know, too much downforce, and of course, the the car becomes uh, you know creates a lot of friction. All right, so we've got the the two basic sketches there, uh, and now we're going to finish this one and move on to the outer edge. Now we're going to use a similar process to what we used uh, to create the rear wing and that we're going to loft um, we're going to loft the feature, sorry, and, and create the nose cone we're going to loft the feature and, and this allows us to create um, you know, various shapes and, and variable shapes as well. You can create a range of different things by using ribs and other stuff. Um, there's lots of ways to use the rails to create interesting shapes. So, uh, the first thing to do is to project uh, these two shapes out onto that construction plane we just created. So I created the construction plane and now I uh, projected those two sketches from the inside out onto the edge and that just allows me to make sure that my my shape stays fairly similar. It allows me to use those edges. Now if you don't project them it's no big deal. Uh, it's just that I wanted to uh, keep my shapes on the outside fairly similar um, but just wrap the uh, and wrap the edges around a little bit differently. So I'm going to create these two here. Uh, it does create a bit of complexity when we go on to make the loft, but that's okay. So I'm going to drag that little point down there, drag this one over here. Uh, yep, and that shape's looking pretty good. Might just put that out there so it creates, but you can see the little tail edge effect there that's going to widen the wing at the end. Um, you know, you, you may want to narrow the wing towards the body or make it wider, it's up to you. And then I've uh, shaped that one there. So you can see the difference between the shapes. Now, again, you, you can do whatever you like, it's, an, it's entirely your call. So I'm just going to turn that body off there to make loft, lofting a little bit easier because otherwise it makes it a bit of a struggle. So I've, I've added a loft. Um, now I don't want to select the points there, I want to select the actual inside edges of the sketch like that and like that. Uh, and now if I selected these ones as well and tried to do all four of course we're going to get an error because it's trying to loft all four designs which is not going to work um, so just make sure you do them one at a time let's we'll remove all these profiles uh, let's remove that one as well and we'll start again click plus and add those two in one go and it will bring that all together make sure it's a new body and then go to loft again Click the inside profile and now the outside two profiles and click OK. And that's your basic wing shapes. Now uh, to create the little bit on the outside edge we can just select the uh, outside edge sketch. We'll just turn the, the bodies back on so we can see that. They're probably a bit narrow I think for the front wing. I think that you're allowed uh, up to 22 millimeters, but I'd have to double check uh, from the edge of the body outwards. So of course um, you know depending on your body width you'd have to uh, change that. So here we've created another sketch on the end of the wings there and I'm going to project the bottom line of the design into this sketch so that I can uh, make sure that my sketch or the bottom edge lines up with the bottom edge of the car design. Uh, I'm going to put a little spline in here, bring that up over the top and follow the uh, basic shape of the body 
so that we can add to the sort of consistency of the shape and bring that around to the back down there. Uh, now if you need to do any remodeling then you can do that, um, you know, move some points around and so forth. Just click the escape key and then move the little points around. Now once you've done that, click the finish, uh, then you're going to extrude that and I would extrude it in um, towards the towards the wing so that you stay within your the boundaries but if you've made allowances you can of course go out change it to join uh, and there's the shape of the wing now if you um, if of course you want to you can mirror oh, sorry when you need to you'll need to mirror the uh, the object so just click on the mirror ob the mirror tool click the body out there and then the mirror plane is that center plane and then click OK and there you have it that's the front edge of your wing uh, now you can go ahead and you can you know reshape the front edges of this we're going to put a little fillet on there um, just around that not, not that not that edge let's cancel that and just grab that little front edge down there and we'll grab the other one over that side just change it to up no, three is too far uh, two let's go yeah let's go to two all right so we'll save that as two and then, uh, yeah, so that's just rounded that little front edge for me a little bit. Now I could 3D print this. Of course, I need to make the little join in the in the back side of the the job down there on the back, um, so that it will join into the car. But at the moment, I've got a little flush mount, so I could create the socket when I bring the other uh, component in. But that's it.